Morning everybody, um, we're going to do poached eggs today. Simple things you're going to need, got a couple of eggs, salt, white wine vinegar, and the deepest pan you can get, and I'll explain for you why. I've already started boiling the water, I'm going to return this back to the hob. Um, the reason, we can bring the water to the boil, and then we uh, take it down to a simmer, we add our salt and our vinegar, and then we crack our eggs in. The reason for the depth of the pan is if you put it in a shallow pan like this, the eggs have nowhere to fall, and therefore the, uh, the white won't wrap around the yolk. With the depth of the pan, as it drops into the water, all the white wraps around the, um, the yolk. The other way of doing it is a, a vortex or a spiral, um, but that only really works for one or two eggs at a time, depending on how many people you've got for breakfast, all right? So I'm gonna return this pan to the heat, jack it up, bring it back up to the boil. Now, the vinegar, I've got white wine vinegar, so it doesn't uh, tarnish the egg. You can use malt vinegar, you can use any vinegar, but you will get a residual, um, something around the egg. Uh, I can't think of the word at the moment, I'll probably edit that bit out. Um, but white wine vinegar is my go-to, so it doesn't blemish the egg in colour anyway. Um, a little splash of that, a pinch of salt, and uh, a couple of eggs. And then while they're cooking, I'm going to nip over to the toaster, bang some toast, and then we'll have poached eggs on toast for breakfast. Okay? Right, that's going to come up to the boil shortly. Um, let's get cracking. So, ha! See what I did there? Brilliant. Uh, like I said, a little glug of white wine vinegar. Quite a lot of water in there, so I'd like, obviously do it, I'd say maybe a tablespoon, two tablespoons. Pinch of salt, whatever you've got. Just going to pop the lid on there. You don't need this for pans generally in, in commercial kitchens. There's no time to take it off and on and off and on. So um, what I usually do is just use a baking tray or anything that's nearby helps the uh, temperature, well, it gets up to, up to boiling or temperature up quicker. Okay, also you can use lids to um, stop uh, meats drying out, like if you're a pan frying chicken, but we'll get onto that in another class. Right, yeah, perfect. I've got a nice little simmer there, vinegar and um, salts in. This is the hard part of all the time. It's just a bit nerve wracking. Um, later on, I'll show you how to do um, poached eggs like you get in hotels but you need a bit more uh, equipment than that. So that's boiling now, I'm gonna turn it down to a simmer. You'll be able to hear it. There we go. Simply crack the egg and drop her in, and hopefully all the white will go around it. Now, the vortex bit, when you make a whirlpool and you do the egg, as the egg goes in, it naturally goes into the bottom of that whirlpool and the white will wrap around it and you'll get a nice a, a prettier poached egg. It does nothing for the cooking experience, it just makes it look nicer, okay? Okay, again, we've got a deep pan of water, so hopefully the, the, the egg, white, will wrap around the yolk. While that's cooking, make sure you recycle the uh, Excuse my French. Um, I'm gonna put on some toast. Um, I was ordered to go out and get some tiger loaf. Other breads are available. Um, so yeah, nice, nice big, thick piece of bread that won't, fit in the, that won't fit in the toaster. So go all arty farty, cut, cut it on an angle, drop it in the toaster, and Robert's your father's brother. Now, I could talk to you about eggs while that's cooking, or I might edit it out, let's see how we get on. Um, so, people struggle with eggs. I get a lot of, a lot of people asking about uh, how I do omelettes, eggs, poached, fried, Benedict, I'll do a completely separate thing on hollandaise sauce, um, the, the easy way and, and, and the hard way. Um, but for a little bit of a tip bit of information, when you go to a restaurant or a hotel and you're having breakfast, the poached eggs are already made the night before, okay? Um, Basically, what we do is for poached eggs in the, in the really posh places, um, we'll keep them with the shell on and you'll have a steamer and we'll steam trays of eggs. And they come in trays of 36, three dozen, uh, about 63 degrees in the steamer uh, for about 90 minutes. And that will keep it in that lovely shape you see that comes out on your plate at the hotel. Uh, and then simply what we do is we have a nice pan of water rolling so you roll in and we'll drop the egg in and that's your poached egg on toast in the morning. Um, if I get the trade secrets away, I'll probably get shot. Um, uh, if it's not perfectly round, it hasn't been done in the shell, but it has been done the night before, what happens is you poach the eggs in a pan, take them to uh, so they are cooked, but not like a rare, a rare egg, not like a well done egg. Um, 
so you can lift them out and they're still solid they're just a, and then drop them straight into a bowl of ice water now this is done with a lot of things uh when it's not too many numbers um let's think like veggies um if you put uh, cooking broccoli and you want it for a stir fry you'll cook it al dente and pour out all the hot boiling water, maybe use it in your stock, and then drop the veg into a pan of a bowl of ice water. That'll stop the cooking like that, keep it crisp, and more importantly, it'll keep the colour, because we all know veggies like peppers, broccoli, the colour bleeds out of them when you boil them. Not so much when you steam them, but when the water gets attacks them, then that's, that's the reason why. Right, I'm gonna check on my eggs. Uh, obviously a slotted spoon. Toast is dropped, I'm just gonna grab a plate, because I... Obviously, I'm so prepared. Nice. 30 seconds, and I think we're there. So, there we go, look. Toast is up, pretty hot. A little bit of butter, or margarine, or whatever you're, you're joining in for. Now, I've, I've done this before. When you're spreading um, butter or margarine, use a spoon. Don't use a knife, because what will happen with the knife is the angle of the knife will cut into your toast. You know when you've got super soft, beautiful fresh bread or rolls, and then you go and put some butter or something that's a little bit stiff from the fridge, um, <laughs> it will cut the lovely soft roll, and you'll end up with holes in your toast and stuff. So use the back of a spoon. The curvature of the spoon allows for a more even spread. I like butter. I'm not going to be shy of this. There we go. Right. Put that to one side, turn the heat off, get prepared. What I do, generally do is take a baking sheet or tray and I'll do this in front of you for you guys. So a bit of kitchen roll, lay that on the baking tray, grab your spoon, bring your pan over, being very careful, making sure no kids or toddlers are around. Take your poached egg and just drop it onto the water like that. Oh, I can't see through all the foam. There we go. <laughs> You're right there, guys. Still with me? Okay. There we have two poached eggs. You can trim all the bits off. I would eat them anyway. Kill the gas. Done that. And then we would like to take the same spoon. Now you see that water, I don't know if you can see that very clearly, there's loads and loads of water. You don't want that on your toast, do you? you want your toast to be nice and crisp, not soggy. So a little bit of kitchen roll, and then just put the spoon under, lift up the kitchen roll like this, roll the egg on, and there she goes. Same with this one. Okay, now that's the basis of poached eggs on toast. I don't need to tell you that, you're not stupid. Now, this is where you can add stuff onto it. Your hollandaise, um, you could have put bacon and avocado underneath that. Uh, a good friend of mine loves a bit of uh, smashed avo and bacon on hers. With tom cherry tomatoes, hollandaise, depending on how rich you like your diet or if you're trying to lose weight. For me, I like a little bit of cracked black pepper or just cracked pepper. And then we'll do the moment of truth, shall we? Let's do, see if we can do this super close up. Right. There we go, can we see that? Absolute filth. Look at that, perfect. Okay, right, that's poached eggs. Have a great day. I certainly will, in a bit, bye.